Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Victory at Sea Pacific, episode number 52. <laughs> really remarkable that we made it this far. Uh, we have a few task forces who are reporting they're ready to move out. We may or may not be moving these out. Oh, this one... Is my Baltimore's? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for Task Force 41. So they'll just hang out there for a little while just to conserve fuel. Conserve rations, I suppose, as well. Uh, Task Force 22. Well, we know Task Force 22's deal. They don't have any destroyers. <laughs> so we would like to build some from truck. I mean, obviously, the <clears throat> shipyard's not done yet, huh? It's very, very, very close, but not complete yet. But very close to being that. And we'll get some destroyers out of there so that Task Force 22 can actually move out once more. Although, as we've already kind of noted, our convoy got through. We just shouldn't get too close. Or maybe they're even running out of supplies here. I, I don't know. If the game actually simulates supplies down to the fact that the AI can run out of bombs and all that, I'm really happy with that. That's fantastic. So, yeah, anyways. um, Let's send Task Force 22... Well, yeah, I think they're kind of useless until they get destroyers, so let's send them out. Send them out to... Truck. We'll send them out to Truck. And we'll unpause the game. Now we have this big situation developing around Okinawa. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there was two more somewhere down here. Seven, eight, perhaps. Convoys, just all around. And we uh, kind of neglected the fact that we have CTF Bravo here with three carriers, uh, and they're already almost in range of <laughs> this carrier task force. So I don't think we should risk, even though we have more battleships. They have two battleships and four heavy cruisers. We have four battleships, one heavy cruiser. Our ammo situation is light enough that I probably would prefer to avoid this engagement. Like, look at the Louisville. Way down on everything. <clears throat> Not to mention they have a carrier, which is problematic. We'll be switching between the two different types. So we're just going to limp first sag into port, let them repair, let them rearm as much as they can. Uh, and then as soon as this task force clears, which is the remaining of the invasion one, our, our airfield is actually fine. So all we need to do is wait for the, <laughs> the new aircraft to come in. And, you know, to this effect, we don't have anything else we're using our war bonds for. We should probably just build a ton of these so they can all start rotating in and out. Anyway, it'd be kind of cool if you could fly aircraft from different bases into the new ones, but it's not a big deal. Actually, what? what? Why do we have a Mitsubishi P? We've conquered the enemy. Not exactly sure where that is. So it looks like the carrier task force is r running away. Interesting. Maybe not too surprising. Okay, so um, we have our nuke. Where's our nuke? There they are. Slowly making their way over. Yeah, this is this is good. So um, I think somebody was commenting that Tinian is the place where we will be effective from. Although I thought that... Well, let's get some... Wait, we don't have we don't have aviation fuel here. You have aviation fuel. Go, what? Pretend to collect supplies from Tinian. Why can't we drop supplies there? I wonder why. Is this a bug? I don't know what's going on here. Why can't they just drop supplies off? Huh. I don't know. Okay, well anyways, we'll, we'll speed up time. Yeah, we apparently still own this Mitsubishi. Where are you? Fly somewhere. I think it was like we conquered the base in the middle of the scout's flight and it <clears throat> Still reports us as having that one. I don't know exactly. Sub four has completed its mission. Okay, that. Let's get sub four out here then. More torpedoes. Good times. You can get to the surface now. Don't need need to be too scared. Palau Islands is just a basic port, so we can actually run this. Well, I mean, I guess we're cutting it off. 
We don't need to run too far south. We can cut them off around Okinawa, which obviously makes the most sense. And you know what? I'm just thinking about this. We actually should probably just be building a ton of aircraft here. I wonder... I might actually get some Liberators. The B-29s, how much are they really... Yeah, I mean, I guess they are better. So we'll get some more of these. Well, we're going to need some anyways for... Well, I mean, I guess we're not dropping the bomb from here, but... <clears throat> we'll want to rotate all these things in. Just don't understand exactly why this one's not capable of dropping off here or delivering there. Like, what? what is your deal? Can I collect supplies from somewhere? I think we'll just try to collect supplies from somewhere. And then um, we'll immediately just drop them off again. <laughs> I don't know whether, what else to do. <laughs> Maybe it'll, they need to collect supplies to be able to drop them off. Oh, okay. So we're getting into a fight now. We don't want to be getting into these fights. But the Louisville, I think, still has an aircraft with low fuel. Uh, okay, one does not have low fuel. Which one are we temporarily fighting? <laughs> Which is the one that we're engaging right now, supposedly? I don't know. We're not going to move out of formation, though. We're just going to move in formation. The USS Long, I guess, should be coming back this way. So she can rejoin. I don't want to do that just in case she, these guys all stop and wait for her. Yeah, I think the Louisville should send their aircraft up this way. Yeah, this one has plenty of... Oh, there they are. I don't know where exactly they're, they think they're going. What the hell? This must be some mistake. Okay. How did they get there? Not sure, but we lost the long. <laughs> oh my gosh, we might lose this entire force to the freaking merchant marine. That, could somebody please explain to me why they decided to arm the... Pennsylvania is actually taking hits. Is this is this life? Is this real life? Um. They are relatively happy, I think. No, oh, their morale is zero. It's funny. Morale's a hundred for some of these. Long is now dead. Her morale no longer matters. Yeah, I guess what we'll do is go to Red Alert or whatever. I don't know, it's so easy to call it Red Alert. We should be engaging these then, right? What's the... Okay, Pennsylvania. You. Why are they unmanned? Man them. There we go. Oh my gosh, I don't know what was going on there. So it's funny, because they actually had already activated, like, they knew that they should be attacking, but they didn't. And now they're, they're completely aware of what they're supposed to be doing. There we go. Okay, speed this up. At some point we should be engaging. This is just bizarre. <laughs> That is so many ships. It's like they're trying to invade. <laughs> okay, well, pretty soon here.
rumble, 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 rumble. The war bond's just going up. <laughs> and make no mistake about it, this will be our entire amount of ammo. I'm gonna turn these guys a little bit so that they hopefully can bring their God, their rear guns to bear. It's madness! There's so much here! Oh my gosh! <laughs> we're still in con- we're- wait, we're still in contact? With whom? Who are we in contact with? Uh, is this- is this what we're in contact with? Guys need to get to port. <laughs> I don't know where these three ships are, supposedly. We're up to a thousand. I can't believe that that was like a thousand just by itself. So this is the three ships. Okay. Let's make our way over here and eliminate them. And then we can uh, actually return to port. So let's land. Uh, yeah. I don't know, this is, uh, this is not, where is this ammunition group? I don't know. I think we're just going to tell these guys to go dock and port, regardless. We have, some of our ships have it's just zero ammunition. Fighters are coming our way. They're, they probably saw that uh, spotter. These landing ships did not end up doing anything. I don't know what they're doing exactly. Okay, we are approaching port, which is good. We'll be able to get some supplies from port, and we can redistribute our existing supplies as well. Oh, Nelly. This is crazy. There's so many convoys. Oh my gosh. Spotters. Lots of stuff. So that carrier is actually retreating out completely. That's okay. We have Iwo Jima and... Yeah, anyways, so what I was trying to say earlier is that um, somebody was mentioning that Tinian will be the place where we drop off the nukes and we bomb from, but... I don't think it can be there. Was it Goose who mentioned this? I, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that our B-29s don't have the range unless they're flying from Iwo Jima. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. What is going on here? Are we firing? Are we just supposedly safely in port now? Is that what's happening? <clears throat> Get to port. Yeah, we, we could really use some help. <laughs> um, so they're only moving five knots. I don't fully understand why that is. Nobody's damaged enough to warrant that. Some of them are moving faster. Tennessee's moving at zero knots. What? Is that... I don't, I don't know if this is a bug or if this is just another... <clears throat> it just having, happens to be that they're trying to line up in formation? I think they're just trying to get into formation. Well, I guess we can just watch them. They should just suddenly, spontaneously disappear. Uh, just in case they do that, I don't... Like, what are these landing ships going to do? I guess they absorb fire. Yeah, it's actually perfect. Let these... Wait, what are you doing? Ah, another bug. 
So these can, uh, these landing craft can be my uh, group to absorb the blow. It's funny because sometimes we can actually get to port right away, but I guess these three ammunition ships, wherever they are, making it impossible for us. Now, I think we should be in range of the coastal batteries, although those might be still eliminated. Yeah, uh, those are still down. The airfield is ready, just need aircraft to be able to take off from there, and that does take a while, so back up to 25x we go. with my hand hovering over the pause button, just in case any of these guys take more damage. Just in case. So far so good. It's like they're on an attack vector. <laughs> oh my god, are they turning in? What are they doing? Come quickly. Come quickly. Actually, Iwo Jima's done with her upgrades, but her airfield's too low. Damn it. Tinian is ready to go, and she does have low fuel. The mother effin' heck. We have 60,000. Like, okay, maybe I need to report this as a game bug. Go and just refit there. I don't know what to do. They have 60,000 uh, aviation fuel. We have no aviation fuel. And we can't get them to drop it off. I don't know why it's bugged out. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Oh boy. Just want what? Oh, well, whoops. We don't actually want to engage. I mean, Abel is capable of engaging. She, this is the one with the, with the guns, but I still don't want to do it. So let's just uh, launch a strike. Something like this. Oh, are they attacking the wrong ones? Which one is the close one? Yeah, I think that's the one. Just get them all. I'll just manually do it, you know, just everyone start attacking this group. <laughs> just take off and go attack. It's apparently they're to the northwest. Wait. Yeah. Okay, I see what's happening. There they are. Got it. Okay, so we're actually out of um, battle range again, which is nice. Just need to make sure that these guys all attack their target. Hopefully not losing too many. In fact, after this, I probably should return to dive bombing. Because it should be a little bit more effective. And we're actually in range of the other ones as well. It is a little weird, by the way, that the torpedo bombers have the same range as the dive bomber version of the hell divers. Pretty sure that the torpedo versions would be much less, which have much uh, less range. <laughs> it's awesome though, we're just watching them buzz back and forth, they're so close. And it looks like we didn't take any significant damage there. And we're hearing some explosions, seeing a few get sunk. So is it time for, let's look at, before I do anything else, let's, oh my god, please tell me. Okay, we're still intact here, that's good. This is just precarious. <laughs> I think we want to launch another strike even. I want to look at the torpedo.
They have no torpedoes and no bombs left. But we already loaded up to torpedoes, that might be why. Okay, well let's launch the torpedoes again then. Another pounce. And sub-4 can actually finish off anybody who doesn't get finished off by the carriers here. What? Okay, now, now it's working. <laughs> So far, so good. Oh well, yeah, we're definitely sinking them. It's good to see. <clears throat> How's our task force up here doing? I know I'm going to come up here one time and it's going to be like, oh, your entire group is dead, by the way. Oh, speaking of things we can do, let's launch some attacks here. Kind of in the same situation that we probably can launch multiple attacks. In fact, we are. Where is the Hornet? Let's get the Hornet back up to the top. And she will launch torpedo attacks down here as well. <clears throat> they, I, it looks like they're gunning for us. Like, damn it, not again. Are we able to still launch these torpedo bombers? Shouldn't have any torpedoes left. Not, not exactly sure what's going on. I mean, we will just keep sinking them. This is insane, man. We just have so many aircraft destroying. <laughs> Carriers are now ex exceptionally overpowered in that they can apparently just launch infinite amount of ordnance. There is no actual cap on the amount of torpedoes that you have. But there are for submarines. Seems to increase the value of carriers even more. Oh my gosh, we found another one? Okay, we have... Some dive bombers who are going to go take this one out. This is so incredible. There's so much going on. I don't think the game can process this many uh, flights. <laughs> oh no, we're losing them now. Darn it. So one too many, I guess. Alright, and we'll probably put those all as dive bombers in a moment anyway. This is an insane number of ships, though. Like, there's so much. We're up to 1,500 already. We can just upgrade anything we want now. And I already spent a lot, I believe, recruiting extra stuff. Yeah, oh my gosh, we have a lot of war bonds spent as B-29s at Iwo Jima. Speaking of, how are these doing? Not quite ready yet. Might not be ready when there's a combat just right around the corner. This appeared to be very unsuccessful in terms of cap like what actually happened. So let's try this again. Run out a second wave of them. Just destroying ships where we can. I mean, this is so many. We just have so many to choose from here. And let's get the dive bombers to pick off the stragglers here. These dive bombers to pick off the stragglers. Oh, we haven't even launched 
<laughs> the previous ones yet. So much less. Can we talk about the stragglers? Um, <clears throat> we go dive bombing over here. And just around the clock, load and, and go. Ah, uh, one left. So that's should be enough. Okay, we'll send the two out to destroy that then, I guess. Um, let's load these guys up with... As dive bombers now. And we'll probably just stick with dive bombers for the rest of the... Unless we get short of... Aerial bombs, or bombs, I guess they're just bombs. <laughs> yeah, do this, and we'll switch the Lexington out as well over, even though they're destroyed. So when they come back, they come back as dive bombers. Alright, looks good. So we have one that can actually fly, but... Well, there's five cargo ships. That's actually an okay target for this one to go after. What we'll do is we'll send them from the other carrier first to kind of protect the wounded one. And then if there's still any bomber, uh, anything left for this to take on, send this guy out. Okay, got that one. Destroyed this one. And apparently attacked, but did not do anything to that one. How's our battleship fleet? Still holding on, staying on strong. I don't know where these three ammunition ships are. I wonder if it's even bugged. And this is going to be interesting. We have this fight going on. <laughs> so can it, it... There is a destroyer in there. Yes! Yeah, a little risky. Hey, where... Are they going to attack something? Oh, okay, there, there is something there. But no, we should be fine, because Tinian has an airfield, has no frickin', this is insane. Philippine Sea, Philippine Sea. Okay, we got this one. Hurry back, because we actually need you to save this submarine, this poor submarine. <laughs> Okay, um, let's get all the, let's switch everyone. I guess we're just going to switch everyone over now. Uh, dive bombers, everyone, dive bombers, dive bombers. Looks like somebody has some wounded, some wounded ones. Okay, switch, switch over to the dive bombers now. Oh, I see, they're just being reloaded. All right, everyone's the dive bombers and Yorktown. Switch these guys as well. I think that's the reason why they're under constant repair here, because there's no torpedoes left, probably. Okay, good. So that should mean nothing but, but yeah. Whoa, whoa, we missed a, a few. And they're actually ready to go, so I'm, I feel a little bit bad about re making them re-equip right now. We got everyone here, and we got everyone but one here. But yeah, we don't, we won't wait for just one. All right, so where do we do these bombing missions? I guess the ones that are closest to. Well, this one has to be done as well because it's just in our way. This is crazy. <laughs> we're and we're trying to chase down this as soon as possible. Although, probably by herself she can handle the one destroyer. Yeah, that looks fine. Still cannot deliver supplies anywhere. Okay, let's do this. Let's set truck as surplus. 
And let's have this group collect supplies there. Maybe they can't collect supplies at places like, can we make this a high priority? It is. <sighs> I just really don't understand that. And there's no reason not to make Tinian a major port now. When we're just flooded in funds. But in nine days, I'd rather upgrade Okinawa, which is the most important place, basically. Um, Iwo Jima's already set. Just need to wait for her airport to repair. And it looks like this group can now wander out into the path of Task Force 41. We'll go ahead and launch our bombers against this group. Uh, we are going to attack that one very, very, very heavily. <laughs> wow. Yep, that was effective. And these guys have recovered, so let's get anybody available to attack that. As well as anybody available here. I just really want to destroy the destroyer. I'm not even going to micromanage it and make sure that they attack the destroyer. I'm just going to hope that that's the case. And at this point, once CTF Able has done that, they've done their job. Yeah, so now we can just move them north. They're not going to have a, another chance before the submarine gets involved here. Um, okay, so these guys are all back. We have lots of other targets. Like, just crazy. Send one group after that. Send one group, two groups, I think, after this one. Just insane. It's just limitless targets. It's just insane. Where is Japan getting all this? <laughs> Alright, we have a couple uh, Avengers. These, I am just frankly can tell you, are not going to be useful. So, we'll just immediately replace those. First SAG is engaged still. Yeah, maybe I can actually go after bomb these three ammunition ships now to, so I can free up first SAG so they can actually go into port. Okay, what did it do? All right, well, there's still one destroyer, but if we micromanage this and hey, I guess we can micromanage it or just wait for Guam to get their air base up. No, wait, Tinian has no fuel. Damn it, anyhow. <laughs> okay, this, we just need to wait a little while. Yeah, come this way. You should be able to outrun that one. Just shadow it. Keep it identified for Tinian. Tinian will very soon have um, supply. So let's collect from truck. So deliver supplies to truck. Truck is now a, su a surplus. In fact, we really are just going to start setting everyone to surplus. If you're not at the front lines, you're a surplus. We probably are abusing. Make Wake Island is not going to be a surplus. Neither is Midway. Okay, Okinawa destroyed. Oh, wonderful. And that means... Wait, some fighters took off? Ah, we're trailing after... Ah, a spotter. I see. Interesting. So we're... Firmly, firmly engaged in this uh, anti-spotter business now. Whew, so many targets, so little time. Okay, how is this going? Just a little bit longer. Guess we'll just move more directly away from them. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fighters. It's crazy. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> the pursuit. All right, we have some more bombers who can be sent here. Send just one group there. We'll send the other bombers to destroy this, wherever they are. And we have one in reserve. There are There is a carrier fleet around here, so we do have to be a little bit careful. I guess we'll still attack this group. You can see all of our fighters are like, no, come attack us. 
This is going to be a constant back and forth. Basically just going to waste fuel. I guess I should probably forbid launching of combat aircraft. I think it's on. Interesting. Two survived. Please sink this one ammunition. Sure. No, we didn't. <laughs> All right, the war is beginning. These are eight against eight. We have just, man, that's a lot. Here we go. The Battle of the Skies should be ours, I would say. I'm guessing that we're gonna have some victories here, but you know, also gonna take some damage. But luckily we have um, a report, I mean, a report, a port very close by that we can utilize. Enemy fleet destroyed near. Okay. okay, good. They got into port. Yay! They did it. So the repairs will commence. We can wait for the fighters to do all their stuff. So these are Sasebo, Shumika. Yeah, you can see that these fighters are land based. And that's a bit. Um, somebody was mentioning that the B 29s might get in. I'm a little worried about sending B 29s on these missions, but it's they're very fast. It's possible they won't be detected in time to do anything about them. But it's also possible that you send the nuclear bomb on a mission and it gets shot down, which kind of terrifies me. Would prefer not to see that happen, obviously. I don't know what happens if you have the ability to launch um, another nuke. If that does happen. Everyone's out on missions? Okay. These guys will turn back eventually when they realize they can't get there. Just land these guys and boy, I wish I could forbid launching of combat aircraft. Sheesh. Okay, they're landing now on their own. Good. First sag is just. And repairs, very good. We did launch an attack. No, that was a spotter. Um, Tinian's still waiting for this convoy to arrive. We have this waste of all this supply because it's not going to be able to go where we wanted it to. That's a hell of a lot of aircraft. It's a lot of aircraft. But we're going to be able to repair anything in a moment at Okinawa, which, by the way, is, as we expected, completely devoid of any thing at all completely devoid we might have to just send them right back all right some of these things are going to happen though it looks like there are some battles starting to happen force this engagement see how that one works out they missed them they'll get them on the way back right two fighters okay we, we came out successful you have one fighter. Let's not be too silly. That one looks good. These eight fighters just go after the fighters. Yes, good, good, good. I don't know what's happening exactly. But it's all happening very quickly. We're just gonna have these guys saunter into port. They do have some repairs to, to make. I know that their deck is like completely swamped with fighters, but since the fighters are kind of doing useless things, we are going to continue to assault the various um, supply ships in the area. There's so many of them. It's just insane. Like we have sunk so many supply ships. <laughs> We're up to 3,000 war bonds. <laughs> well, what do you do with 3,000 war bonds? Okay. You want an upgrade? You get an upgrade. You want an upgrade? You get an upgrade. Tinian's going to get an upgrade. Really, this is just to make him so that they can hold more stuff. It's like insane. How much, there's so much stuff going on here. And CTF Bravo... Oh man, this, yeah, this, this is crazy. Let's see what happens. I want to forbid launching combat aircraft. 
Oh, I think we just forbid it this way. Okay, let's forbid launching combat aircraft. This is getting a little bit nuts. Yeah, I think that worked as well. We have a few last fighters trickling out. Some other engagements. Two torpedo boats. One of these fighters made it way out there, which is pretty cool. Getting some intel. But now that we forbidden, we have forbidden the launching of combat aircraft, I think we won't have to worry about that anymore. I could probably right-click and attack these individuals as well. Two cargo ships still left. Well, I think that we can send somebody out. Yeah, we do have some bombers that can go out and finish those guys off. Although, actually, we can probably send First Sag out. How is their, how are their repairs coming? I mean, they do not have a lot of ammunition here to share. We can probably take it away from the destroyers, but even what little those took. But holy cow, just what a mess, what a total mess of just tons of aircraft getting sunk. I mean, uh, tons of cargo ships getting sunk. And, you know, CTF uh, Able's almost here as well. Although we ought to send them somewhere where they can... Well, I mean, for them, mostly it's repairs. So, yeah, we'll just send them to do these repairs. And, it, like, I just love the fact that this original strategy we had to cut off the head, sever the head of the Japanese um, war machine, which is basically isolate Japan from the rest of the Empire's holdings, it's working incredibly well. Getting to Okinawa is, like, game over for the Japanese. The fact that we're holding it, that we have now two carrier groups and one surface action group, whew, it's checkmate, basically. I mean, not that it wasn't already going to be checkmate. We're in position to drop the bomb, whether or not we're holding Okinawa. But, obviously, it just, whoops, I missed this one. I knew this was going to happen. Speed of 33. Are they really going to be? Okay, let's, let's merge into one. Oh my god, no! What? <laughs> yes. I think? Yes. Alright, there we go. These guys will join information and then we'll have them move down to true. We don't, I don't think we need them. They have the wrong distribution of forces and everything, so uh, I guess we can, by the time we get there, maybe Iwo Jima is going to be an appropriate place for them to go. So we'll just move them there directly. I kind of was thinking about leaving somebody down here. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no need. We can do all of our... Oh, you know what? Tinian, did they get their resupply yet? No, not yet. Come on. I want to keep going. It's like 43 minutes into this, but there's so much interesting stuff with which can happen now. Oh, here's another one. Perfect. So, jeez. I think they have more convoys than I do. And CTF Able has a few that she can launch. Should this not be enough to destroy them? Although, probably it is. No, well, maybe not. It is not. All right, let's tuck uh, CTF Bravo into port now. This is so many supplies. Should we send our one? Yes, absolutely. Everyone gets a chance. <laughs> okay, anyways, I guess we'll wrap this one up here. 44 minutes in. I, I This is kind of absurd. So the endgame kind of falls apart, if you ask me. This is, situation is... I don't even know what exactly is happening here. I mean, oddly enough, I'm up to 2,000 war bonds again. Guam's already a major port. Tinian's now going to be a major port. It's going to have actual fuel supply in a moment. Oh yeah, I really wanted to get that covered, but yeah, this... So I didn't want to have to micromanage this sub, otherwise I think that she could take out the destroyer. Just, it is micromanagement though. So sub 5, you're going to move up here, because again, 
nothing is getting by this area now. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if you um, are down there anymore. And I, I again, I keep saying I'm going to wrap it up, but I really do have to. I wish I didn't. We'll do. We may even be able to secure this victory in the next episode. Uh, Task Force 43 is still very far away, so that might not be true. We're just relying on the fact that Iwo Jima should have supply by the time the next episode arrives. So, all their aircraft are going to be repaired. Yeah. Actually, Okinawa is starting to get some progress on this. Fantastic. So those aircraft are starting to be... And, and you know, silly me, one of the things I should have done is started to produce a lot of Corsairs. Which we'll need. Um, I guess they come to us free when the port upgrades in four days. But we'll need a lot of them if we end up doing... I mean, but this is insane. We're pff, taking Okinawa is really just game over. There's that one coming in. <laughs> ah, it killed the destroyer. Hey, it really did something. Although the destroyer is less threatening than the cargo ships. So I guess that's it. This is really how the, deter the Empire falls apart. This is a very weird, fictitious... Uh, alternate history. Can't imagine something like this happening. The cargo ship shutdown was happening well before... I mean, we would imagine this would be a very popular area. Submarines did try to hunt around here, especially 44, 45, probably not in 42, but there was the Doolittle raid. Um, very daring little adventure. But... Yeah, this is insane. I actually don't know how the Japanese were able to produce this many convoys, or if they started the game with this many. We'll find out when we do the Japanese campaign. Maybe the AI gets a small boost, and I wouldn't mind them getting a small boost because again, these uh, the AI shouldn't probably is not going to be as intelligent about resupplying things, um, and the player may be better at convoy rating than the AI. So give them a small boost to the amount of convoys they get. It makes sense, especially because it's still a benefit to the player if the player can sink them. So I mean, you can see that a war bond situation will never have to worry about war bonds ever again. One last question before we go: How's the <gasps> 20 days. She may yet make it. I think she's going to be delivered before, before the end of the game. But the other building queues now basically just said empty because uh, remember the one problem is there was no supplies coming in from these. Look at the aviation fuels like at nothing, which I'm not really sure why that is. Doesn't make sense to me. There should be like limitless supplies on the mainland, but there isn't for some reason. So until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.